I need to see it higher on the wall. Right on the wall. Scraping the wall. Keep it, keep it, keep it. Don't lose it. Oh, that could have turned. What's up, everybody, and welcome back here to another episode here on Torque Drift. Today, if you haven't guessed by the title, my E46 has gotten that custom treatment and uh, has been upgraded to that custom level car. So we're going to go take a look at that real quick, and we're going to run. I believe we have a Cali Bank track going, so we're going to run some Cali Banks for sure and uh, have a little fun with it. As you can see, there has been another livery change. We are on a custom now. Custom level in this E46, we uh, bumped up all of our suspension components and everything to full custom and uh we have a couple uh custom uh parts we did get rid of the tried and true rotary and we are now with an rb26 det here in this uh e46 definitely a nasty car and it's a lot of fun to drive rocking those uh new mst wheels which is also on my uh S14, which has also got a new livery change up with those uh, bronze MSTs and uh, a little bit of a gold and matte black finish. So the S14 is still the custom. I believe it still has more power than my E46 just by a few. So we are also going to take a look over here. We did up the um, JZX to over a thousand horsepower on the JZX. So luckily we're gonna not gonna be running that today so luckily it handles good still got to work some tweaks out it's a big girl and just to double check let's see horsepower 1442 to 1346 so yes the uh, e46 does have a lot more power in it and we are running a very soft suspension we're running you know 12k in the front with very low we could probably go lower but we're not going to tuck it that low we're gonna put it back to where it was and then in the rear, I believe we're running super soft right now. We are running yeah, eight and one. So this is what I've been running recently. We got the mirror teal bluish livery rocking for today. So we're going to go hit the track. And I believe we have Cali Banks and see if we can't run some of the banks with this uh, E46, my tried and true car, but it does no longer has the rotary. So it's a little different. And we're also going to turn on a little camera on the bottom for you guys with uh, the actual phone screen so you guys can see how I use my uh, pointer finger for handbrake and stuff like that. So we're gonna go into Cali Banks. You can see my reflection in my own phone. And then we're going to uh, see if we can't find somebody to run against. Phone screen is not that important to see with the, the lighting and stuff. It's more so just so you guys can see how I use my fingers and stuff. So first battle is against an S14, or S15, sorry. Kick it right up in the fourth gear. And we are gonna go full send on this right now. Kick it in, that RB26 screaming. A little bit lower on the bank than I wanted to be, but we are just trying to, you know, get used to all the custom components on this car because it just recently got bumped into a custom status. I thought we were going to tag that wall for sure, but we did not. So a decent run, as you can see, I'm using my pointer finger to run it on top of using my thumb to throttle. And definitely, uh, he must have biffed it into the wall for sure. And he uh, is going to bug out and not want to go again. So... We're gonna try and find somebody else. We're almost out of tires. I feel like this is gonna be the last run with these tires and we may have to uh, run some low lesser grip tires. Don't feel like going to buy them. So we're going against Dusty and S14. So let's go into this. Kick this thing up into fourth gear. And uh, go full send here at Cali Bank. Kick it in a little bit higher on the wall than last time. Nice smooth arc, feathering off throttle. Just tap it, quick tap of the e-brake, quick transition back. There we go. Running a little bit close to that wall. We're gonna try and run the outer wall this time. 
Wish I would have gotten a little bit closer to, from the get-go to get all those points, but nonetheless, another solid point run there. See myself in my uh, own phone right now. 143 to 145. We got a battle on our hands. So uh, this is going to be a close one. We're going to have to throw down a massive chase in order to make sure we take the win, but we're not starting off good. A little bit behind, so we'll have to cut the gap. Bring it up. Right, right. We kind of want to be oh, a little bit a little bit wonky on that transition. Left foot breaking. Just having that wall kind of hurt me a little bit, so we got to try and catch back up. Little taps of the left foot. And uh, a solid, solid run. But uh, I don't think that's going to be enough to take the win. Unless he biffed his chase. He did not biff the chase. We're going to go try and get another rematch against him and see what can happen. Well, that's not how I wanted to start off the gears. I initiate higher on the wall. Right on the wall. Scraping the wall. Keep it, keep it, keep it. Don't lose it. Oh, that could have turned ugly real fast but we managed to save it. And then it turns ugly right there. Getting a little bit too greedy on the wall and uh, causing us to uh, drag a little bit more bumper than I wanted to drag. Getting a little more aggressive on the uh, on the throws there. So uh, definitely uh, trying a little bit too hard. 130 to 90, so I don't think we're going to take this. So if you guys are enjoying seeing the phone down on the bottom of the screen, let me know down in the comments. It's something different so you guys can kind of see how I have my fingers placed for to use handbrake and gas at the same time. We got a very bad start. So we have to bring ourselves up. Just a little tap. Really hard transition. I mean, the car is stable, the chase is solid, E46 is probably my favorite chase car that I have right now, and uh, shows true with a 47,000 point chase run as I bump the camera. But that won't be enough because of the fail in the lead, so unfortunately, that's not going to uh, give us that win. It's close though, so I'm going to see if we can get a, a third rematch to see if we can't go after him one more time see if we can't get a solid lead so if you guys are still enjoying torture of content let me know in the comment section down below as well i will be doing some live streams here very soon everything is settling down here so live streams are coming back live tandem battles and everything will be back here very shortly tried to stay off the wall i don't want to didn't want to biff it again like last time we're going to take the shortcut through Get all the points on the front, bring the car up at the ends, and bring ourselves around with about 120, 130. So 135 consistently is where I'm at right now. Um, I've gotten way higher with this car. It looks like he biffed the wall hard. So looks like we'll take this win. As long as we uh, can somewhat still get a chase. We might switch up to the S14, run the S14 for one or two runs here at Cali. Probably my favorite track. My favorite track for tandems is the banks here at Cali. Oh, that's... And that is probably where the cookie crumbled for him. So we're going to try and just uh, finish off the run. Oh, no, wait. Actually, there it is. That man died. F's for that man right there. I know my phone screen is very bright in the camera, but it's just giving you the idea of how I'm holding my phone. Because a lot of people did ask how I get use handbrake and stuff at the same time. Well, this is how I do it. We're going to go again. We use thumb and brake here. That is how it is done. That's how I've been doing it. So it's something quite simple that I found works for me. Initiate in. I might need to raise the rear sparks flying, but really... Really nice on that bank run. Oh, save it off the wall. So, we did 
lose our chain, but I don't believe we lost our clean lead. So we might still be able to come out of this with a somewhat decent run. We didn't lose the clean lead completely. Got my Fanatec pedals down there. Wish I could be using my uh, wheel setup right now. And he totally tanked us on that. So we're gonna try and get a solid chase. And then we're gonna switch up the S14 for one run, one or two runs, and before we end this episode off. So make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and Twitter, all of which are found in the description box below. Ooh, that was nice high on the wall. I am planning, oh, wow. I am planning not to do that. I am planning on doing a video showing you guys pretty much the build breakdown of all my main cars that I run. So if you guys want to see build breakdowns, let me know because you guys seem to like the build breakdown when I did it on my other cars. So if you guys want to keep seeing Torque Drift build breakdowns, let me know. As well as if you like seeing the phone on the screen as well, let me know also. And we are going to switch up to the S14. Run the S14 one or two times here at Cali. Oh, that's why. We were off of our main tires. I was uh, not expecting the uh, tires to run out, so we ran out of tires, so the car was not set for those tires. It is set for these tires, though, but it looks like we're going up against a pretty nasty Supra. The uh, S14 is now supercharged. If you haven't noticed by the sound, it is supercharged S14, full custom now. It was custom before, but now it has a custom supercharger on it instead of a Pro Turbo. It's a very, uh, very lax transition, not very aggressive at all. But the car is kind of a, a slow slider. I probably need to adjust the camber and stuff because it did uh, throw, you know, custom suspension on and change to the Wise Fab, so the camber angles probably got a little bit wonked out and. Uh, that guy uh, did definitely get a better lead than us, but we are just going to chase him out to finish this episode off. So once again, I'd like to thank you guys for coming back and watching. I appreciate all the support and everybody coming back for these short trip videos and all the other videos that we post. So, as always, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. I'm going to try and nail this man's door as much as I can. If you like that energy sticker on that Supra. Get some slow transitions there. I was not expecting that. Probably should have left foot braked and clutch kicked. Probably would have uh, came out a little bit better than I did, but overall, not a bad chase given the circumstances. So, as always, I like thank you guys for watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys next time.